all right boom so check this out i need y'all to take a look at this cute little cutie we got here welcome the newest addition to the volandis family miso so me and amal rescued miso and we rescued miso because we wanted to give a little kitty cat a nice little home and we also wanted a little baby but instead of having an actual little baby because i don't think we're ready for all that yet a little kitty cat was the next best thing look how cute she is so everybody welcome miso to not only our home but the channel because i'm sure y'all will be seeing a lot more of miso as well moving forward she's so small she has a lot of energy she also talks a lot which i didn't expect but we already love her and can't wait to show y'all more of miso's growing up process pretty soon she's gonna be as tall as me So yes, Miso is a beautiful cutie, cutie, cute pie. But you know what else is a cutie, cute pie? My Leica M6. Probably the most beautiful, probably most sought after because of how it looks camera, film camera out there. Is there another film camera that is as good looking as the Leica M6 or just Leica M um, film cameras in general? I don't know. I can't say that there is so the Leica M6 as y'all all know I have I've had my my own personal journey with the Leica M6 I, I, I used it didn't like it I used it again liked it so I bought it um, used it every single day and just like a lot when I first got it and even after I got it I was taking it to um, events I was taking it to like little gatherings and stuff like that took it with me to Europe which was probably one of the best trips I ever had and um, I'm so grateful to have had this camera during that trip because it was it was perfect bro um, just amazing camera but yeah lately it's been a very expensive paperweight and I do want to shoot with it more and I'll get into a little little bit to why I'm selling it if you guys haven't you know put that together yet yes I am selling my Leica M6 and this is and this will be the last time that I will use my personal Leica M6 if I use another Leica M6 or like in general it, it won't be mine so um yeah or who knows we'll, we'll see I'm not gonna say that but um for right now I'm going to part ways with the Leica M6 so before we get out and shoot, let's just look over some photos that I've taken with the Leica M6. Some 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 memories and um, all that good stuff that I've had with the Leica M6. But yeah, as y'all seen those pictures that I took of Miso was with the Leica M6 as well. Miso's first film pictures was with the Leica M6. Now Miso got a lot of film pictures to come in her lifetime, but her first ones was on the Leica M6. So that's gonna hold a very special place in my heart moving forward. As hard as I'm making it seem like it is, it's really not that big of a deal to me. I'll also talk about that a little bit later, but enough of all the talking, let's just go out and shoot with the Leica M6 one last time. All right, so one of the first things, but last things that I'm shooting with the Leica M6 is some boxing. And I don't know why I necessarily chose to shoot boxing with this camera because I'm not the fastest focuser with this camera, but it should be interesting.
Y'all know Banshee and Nito. If you don't, just look at this. Come to find out Banshee is a jack of all trades. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not trying to get in the ring with that boy. All right, so for Memorial Day, we had Uncle Va on the grill. So Crocs are basically cookout sandals for millennials. I'm gonna go ahead and put these boys in off-road mode, and I'm finna turn up on the grill. I feel bad y'all ain't got these in y'all city, man. This is a Detroit staple right here. And we got some beef hot dogs. We don't eat pork in this household. So, you know what I'm saying? Beef hot dogs. Got some chicken, some burgers, all, all the good stuff, man. Now, I didn't take many photos because I was just out chilling and having a good time with my family, but I guess I have like two photos I can show y'all. And for these pictures, I wasn't necessarily even planning to go out and shoot anything. I just rode by this and liked the way it looked. So I got out and took a few pictures, but it's nothing too fancy, nothing too special. Make them feel. And you can say anything you want about me. I ain't worried that don't make it real. They don't really want to hear the real no more. Think they scared how I make them act. And you can say anything you want about me. I ain't tripping that don't make it fat. Look, coming live from the gutter like a cold puddle with water whipping road shuttle. Your whole huddle, Dutch burning, moving slow. I'm feeling like the minute hand. All wishes granted to me, turning in a tenant van. Been the man, never question nothing that was in the plan. What's up? What's up? All right, so now we are back at the crib with what was my final time shooting with the Leica M6. As an owner of the Leica M6, I enjoy shooting with this camera. I really do enjoy shooting with this camera. As I explained earlier, it is an expensive paperweight for me. I don't use it as much as I want to. And for how much it costs, I can't justify just letting it sit around, collect dust. Also, it could go to a better home with somebody who's going to use and create some beautiful images with it all the time. That doesn't mean my opinions about the Leica M6 have changed. I do think it's still the most beautiful camera that's um, ever been produced. One of the most beautiful cameras that's ever been produced, uh, 35 millimeter cameras. Um, it's also one of the better 35 millimeter cameras that's ever been produced. If you like range finders are, and are into that type of thing. Sorry, Miso is about to drop my phone on the ground, girl. I'm about to put you down. Watch, when I put her down, she's gonna cry. She's gonna yell at me. 
but with all of those things being said i do think that a camera especially a camera that costs as much as this camera if you're gonna um, pay for that camera you should be using it and you should be using it quite often some people could probably make the case that you don't got to use a camera that much to do certain things because some people just like to collect cameras which is also a good thing i am not a camera collector and it kind of bothers me when my cameras are just sitting there not getting used so this video probably won't be the last video i shoot with the like m6 let's all be honest but this is probably the last time i'm gonna own a like m6 unless at some point in the near future when i'm like 50 and i want to slow it down and you know be a um a purist film photographer maybe i'll re re get the like m6 maybe the m4 m7 i don't know i'll some form of a leica camera who knows who doesn't want to own this camera you know what i'm saying it's a beautiful camera very well made very well like it feels good it looks good when you're shooting with it because it's a rangefinder. you just look cool no matter where you are, no matter what you're shooting, people have to take you serious because it's a serious, beautifully serious camera. So, but, and what I'm going to be shooting with instead, because clearly I need a 35 millimeter camera. I can't just stop shooting 35. And this may come as a surprise to all of you, if not most of you, but the camera that I decided that I'm going to be shooting my 35 millimeter work with is the nikon f3 <laughs> look i talked so much shit about the nikon f3 bro i talked well not the f3 in general i love the f3 i think the f3 is an amazing camera but i've talked so much shit about nikon in general that people are probably like hey yo what's happening but the f3 is a beautiful camera it's less money it's an slr instead of a rangefinder um produces some beautiful images and I like it that doesn't take away any of the things i've said about nikon i still stand by all of those things this is a camera produced before my uh disdain for them came about so i feel like these nikon f series cameras are off it's off the um it's off my list of bash bashed cameras i more so talk about their their digital cameras but that's neither here nor there. I don't really care that much. At the end of the day, I'm shooting with the Leica, not the Leica, geez, the Nikon F3. And uh, yeah, that's, I don't, I don't, I don't got nothing to explain to nobody. That's my decision. I made it all on my own. And yeah, that's, that's where we're, that's where we're headed from here. So anyway, next video will probably be a Nikon F3 video. Who knows? If you want to see Nikon F3 video, <laughs> let me know. A new and improved Nikon F3 video too, by the way. But other than that, man, with all of that being said, let's get up out of here. Let's go do some shit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have not liked the video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Helps the channel, helps me, helps everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody feels good. So, um, yeah, bro. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Let's get it. No vibes. Where's my cat? Say bye, myself. Say bye, babies. Say goodbye. All right, I'll put you down. I know you don't like that. No vibes. No vibes.